Hey guys, and welcome to episode 13 of the How to Code a Spig Plugin for 1.15 slash 1.16 slash whatever version you're in. <laughs> Today we're talking about recipes, custom recipes. I'm finally so happy that we're done talking about config files because I really hate going over config files because, oh man, custom customization it can get annoying. So let's go right back into actual fun stuff, and that is custom recipes. So I'm going to show you guys how to create some custom things. And uh, one of the things we're going to create is, well, I'll show you real quick, a nether star. So nether stars are uncraftable. So I'm going to create a crafting recipe for a nether star right here. And uh, it'll operate just like a normal nether star. If I grab one from creative, it'll be this is the exact same nether star. Or also going to create a pickaxe. So if I put two sticks here and three emeralds you'll see we create an emerald pickaxe and it has a fortune 10 on it and i'll show you guys that as well it's really simple really fast and of course you can add some crazy enchants like this one has a fortune of 100 you can do whatever you want so without further ado let's get right into the code oops here we go create a new package i'm going to call this i mean a new project called project custom recipe I'm gonna go ahead and press next go to libraries I'm gonna add a new external jar of 1.15 or whatever version you're on I'm gonna open up that project go to SRC go to new package create our first package me dot coded red dot custom recipes or so recipe yeah if you have a website be calm dot the name of your website dot the name of the project if you don't have a website you do me dot your name dot the project's name go ahead once that package is made let's go ahead and create our main class and you can separate these through multiple classes if you have multiple recipes i'm just gonna show you guys just in one class it's a little faster so the first thing we're gonna do is extends java plugin and i'm gonna create the on enable and on disable override Pull void on enable. And then the oops. And then the on disable. We will be using the on enable. And like I said, recipes are super easy to make. And all we're gonna do is create a method. We're gonna call this method uh, get recipe. And uh, what this method is gonna return. Let's return a shaped recipe. Go ahead and import shaped recipe. So in when creating recipes for bucket for spigot, this is what it's called a shaped recipe. It's not called recipe. It's called shaped recipe. And of course we will need to uh, return null for just right now. So we get rid of that red underline. All right, let's create our item. So the first thing I want to make is that nether star is when I put that gas tiers in there and I put the emerald block in the middle so they pop out a nether star for us and to do that we need to create the item and the item just like we usually do is going to be item stack item equal to a new item stack and then uh, the material material dot nether star now Go ahead and import that, and we're just going to use the normal bucket inventory item stack one. And let me just do that. And that is it. So for the pickaxe, we are going to edit the meta and stuff, but I want this to be a normal nether star. I want it to operate with real nether stars, so it's just going to be like that, just the item. Next, we're create a name spaced key. Name spaced key. Name a key. I said equal to a new name spaced key this and then right here is what we're going to name it and like i said i want this to be a normal nether star so i'm just going to name it nether underscore star here you can put a custom name so when we create that pickaxe i named it emerald pickaxe so if it you want emerald pickaxe if you want this thing to be a customized nether star you can put whatever you want it's really just a custom name whatever you want it to be once that key is created, we go ahead and create that actual recipe. And to be a shaped recipe. I'm going to name it recipe. It's so creative. And I'm going to also set it equal to a new shaped recipe. 
uh, recipe key and the item. All right, all the boring stuff's out of the way. Now we can get to the fun thing. I think this is so cool. And I'm gonna do recipe dot shape. So what, oh, what the heck? So what is our shape? What is this gonna look like? And I don't know why, I think this is this really cool thing. So in a crafting table, there is three squares on each row. There's a total of three rows, three, three columns. So it'd be three spaces. So three different ways it could look. So if I wanted an item in the middle, say I wanted T, so put T in the middle. So this I have a space to the left and a space to the right. This is the first row of the crafting table. Um, let me log in and show you guys what I mean. So this is the first row. So my T in my code right here, this T is right up here. It's right here. And if I put inside here, if I put T E T and then I'll put T right here, go open this up again. So what it's going to look like is going to have a T here, a T E T T. And these are just variables for right now. We're going to set them equal to something. Like I said, T for tier. So T, 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 E. And that's exactly how the shape will come out. So each space is a square. And I don't know why, but I think that's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so we're going to set these T's and E's to something. And these are really custom. They can be L's, whatever you want it to be. I name them T and E. You can name whatever you want. So we're set that, and it's called ingredient. So we're set that ingredient. So set ingredient, and the ingredient is T. And what is T? Well, T is material dot gas tier. And what is E? Well, E is set rest ingredient, and E is that emerald block. And just like that, we are all done. Like I said, super easy to create a custom recipe. And we're gonna return the recipe. And one last thing, hop into that on enable and type in bucket dot add recipe. And the recipe is get recipe. And we're done. Um, yeah, so super easy. All we do is create an item stack, create the namespace key, the shaped recipe. That's probably like the mo the top three things you're going to have trouble with if you don't uh, memorize that. But once you have that in there, all we do is create that shape. And like I said, the shape is just the squares in the crafting table. So this is the first row, second row, third row. And it's all custom, really, what you want it to be. Like I said, a custom recipe. So T, this could be a K. I can put a K up there. It's whatever you want. So we have T, T stands for gas tier, E stands for emerald block. Go ahead, return that recipe, add it, make sure you're adding it on the on enable and we are all done. So I'm gonna hop onto my SRC folder, go to new file, plugin.yml, name it main me .red custom recipe dot main the name of the, the uh, project is custom recipe the version is 0 0.1 and the author will be yourself make sure that's correct custom recipe yep that's good I'm gonna export it to my server real quick Awesome. Reload my server. Hop back in here and let's try again. So when I go ahead and go into the crafting table, I'm gonna put down those gas tiers. You'll see nothing's gonna happen until I put this emerald block in the middle and boom, we got a, a nether star. Pretty cool. Next, let's create that pickaxe. So I just took it out of the code, so it shouldn't, yeah, shouldn't work. So you see, when I put these three emerald blocks up here and the two sticks, nothing pops out. So let's go ahead and create that pickaxe that pops out right here. 
And uh, if you want to keep watching, go ahead. You should have enough information now to keep on moving. But let's create it one more time. So I'm going to copy this whole, uh, whole method. Paste it right here. I'm going to name this get pickaxe recipe. Or change the material to diamond pickaxe. Next, I'm going to create an item meta. Call it meta. Set equal to item dot get item meta. And then import that. We're going to create the uh, display name. So uh, add, was it set display name? Chat color dot green. And I'm just going to say emerald pickaxe. Next, I'm going to add that enchantment. And I don't know if I ever went over enchantments completely, but uh, you add enchantments through the item meta. And the first uh, argument is going to be enchantment dot and whatever the enchantment is. And these are different names than well, most. Some of them are different names than usual names. So fortune is a loop bonus blocks right there. Loop bonus blocks. And then the argument right here, args one, will just be the level. And it's, I think it's out of a thousand. I'm, I'm not really sure. I think it, it might be unlimited. I'm not really sure. I don't really remember. It might be like a million. But um, I'll set it to 10 for right now. And right here, this arg two is really important. So if this number is greater than three, which is like the, the normal Minecraft enchantment, then it won't work unless you put true. If it's false, it won't work. If it's true, it will work. Basically, you're, just, you're asking if, it, if it's going to break that boundary, if you're going to ignore natural enchantment levels. I'm putting true because I want to ignore that the max is three. The max is whatever I want it to be. The max could be a thousand, whatever. And then uh, finally, item dot set item meta to meta and our item is done let's go ahead and fix this recipe real quick instead of another star i'm going to name it emerald what was it emerald pickaxe and then the recipe is fine whatever uh let's change this shape so i'm gonna put ee -E -E for the top row it'll be all diamond i uh, mean emerald blocks the middle row, I'll we'll put an S just in the middle of these two spaces. And I'll put an S right here. And that just stands for stick. So I'm going to get rid of the T and put material dot stick. And then finally, go up to the top and we're going to add another recipe. I'm just going to copy this, paste it, and add the get pickaxe recipe. And boom, we're done. I'm going to export to my server and test it out and see if it works. But yeah, it's the same code as the above. Um, I just edited it, edited the item, edited the recipe. And if we go ahead and reload the server, we can test it out. So if I put two sticks here, three emerald blocks, we'll see we got that pickaxe, that fortune 10 pickaxe and it does work like fortune 10 for oh that's a bunch right there and like i said you can do fortune 100 this one has fortune 100 on it it does this is gonna look a little funky it's gonna have a fortune enchantment dot level 100 uh you could fix this i mean you could hide the enchantments add an item flag hide enchantments i can show you guys that real quick could say meta dot add item flag item flag dot hide enchantments you can add that flag and then go ahead and add lore and just make it look like whatever 100 is in roman numerals, roman numerals. but yeah uh pretty neat stuff that's how you create custom recipes in spigot and i think it's so cool that we can do this especially for items that are not craftable like the nether star i had someone message me saying they made a comp uh, custom compass and they wanted like a way to have a recipe for it and I, it's just awesome that we can be able to do that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see for the next few episodes i do want to go over tab completer and what tab completer is is saying 
your command and you have a bunch of different options you can choose from. So I think we'll be going over that next episode. But if you want to see something before that, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.